So, all right. Here's a quick take from me on this story. If Hunter Biden thinks his spoiled brat antics this morning in front of the House Oversight Committee is going to help his father get reelected in November, think again. You know, people around the country watching news clips of his antics, they're just going to say, this is a kid of privilege, spoiled because his father's president, and somebody who thinks he's above the law. Democratic House members from swing districts will undoubtedly be cringing at Hunter's antics. Hunter may think it's very clever to mock Republican Congress, but I suggest he think that again, again. He looks like a spoiled rich kid, which is really what he is. He's a real jerk. That's what he looks like. And of course, using his father's influence for various pay-for-play schemes, maybe bribery as well, all alleged, but all under the microscope. That stuff has put him in a very unfavorable political spotlight. Hunter Biden's disruptive annex today may harden Republican votes to hold him in contempt of Congress. That could bring him closer to jail. He's kind of lucky that they didn't send a sergeant of arms after him and put him in jail today. Last time he pulled a stunt by speaking in front of the Senate instead of appearing for a House deposition, that time Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre sprung a leak by telling the White House press corps that Papa Joe Biden, that is, President Joe Biden, knew beforehand that his son would be a no-show for the congressional subpoena. That made Papa Biden an accomplice to lawbreaking. All right? Now, did Joe Biden know his son was going to show up again today and act like a damn fool? Well, that would make the president a second-time accomplice. I'd like to find that out. Is this Hunter Biden's version of Papa Biden's democracy crusade? Disrespect the Congress, give them the middle finger, set an example for lawbreakers. Joe Biden's out of control son is not going to help Joe Biden get reelected. Now, personally, I favor sending President Biden into retirement, but I don't think pro reelection Biden supporters would love what Hunter Biden pulled this morning. Hunter Biden's already been indicted on gun charges and tax evasion charges. In Delaware and California, he may be facing additional charges for failing to register as a foreign agent. And then, of course, the money laundering, wire fraud, various criminal and civil iterations that go along with all of his so-called investment schemes in China, Russia, Ukraine, elsewhere. This is not what you would call an enviable record. This is not something an adult would want to advertise with even more bad behavior. I'm sure some Democratic politicos would advise Hunter Biden to keep his head down and stay out of the news. But Biden Jr. is ignoring sage advice with his arrogant attitudes and all his little games. Papa President Joe should tell his out-of-control son just crawl into a hole for the next year instead of promiscuously displaying his not only contempt for Congress, but his contempt for law-abiding Americans of all political stripes. I don't care who you are. That's my riff this evening.